I met with Prime Minister Netanyahu last night, and he reaffirmed his commitment to uh, the proposal. Uh, I also had an opportunity to speak to Defense Minister Gallant and other uh, senior Israelis this morning. And I think there is a strong consensus, again, behind moving forward with the proposal. But it really is down to one person at this point. We'll see what comes from them. Well, I say it is a hopeful sign, uh, just as the um, statement that they issued after the president made his proposal 10 days ago was hopeful, but it's not dispositive. Uh, what, it is, what is dispositive, uh, at least what's so far been dispositive one way or another, is the um, word coming from, from Gaza and from the uh, Hamas leadership in Gaza. That's what counts, and that's what we don't have yet. Uh, and that's why I say we're, we're waiting to see. הייתה עכשיו פגישה, חלק גדול מהפגישה עסק בחטופים, הם מחויבים, הם מבינים שצריכה להיות עסקת חטופים, הם מבינים שצריך להחזיר את כולם הביתה, זו המשימה העליונה של החברה הישראלית. עד שהם לא יחזרו הביתה, לא נדע מנוחה, וחשוב שהאמריקאים מבינים את זה, תומכים, דוחפים איתנו יחד לעסקה. תודה רבה. Хамас обращен призыв принять так называемую сделку. Но по-прежнему нет полной ясности относительно наличия официального согласия Израиля, как это прописано в резолюции, на предложенную президентом Байденом сделку на фоне многочисленных заявлений со стороны Израиля на тему продолжения войны до полной победы над Хамасом. Мы не стали блокировать резолюцию лишь потому, что ее, насколько мы понимаем, поддерживает арабский мир. При этом все обозначенные нами вопросы остаются и требуют ответа.
we are profoundly shocked at the impact on civilians of the Israeli forces operation in Al Nazarat at the weekend to secure the release of four hostages. Hundreds of Palestinians, many of them civilians, were reportedly killed and injured. The manner in which the raid was conducted in such a densely populated area seriously calls into question whether the principles of distinction, proportionality and precaution as set out under the laws of war were respected by the Israeli forces. Our office is also deeply distressed that Palestinian armed groups continue to hold many hostages, most of them civilians, which is prohibited by international humanitarian law. Furthermore, by holding hostages in such densely populated areas, the armed groups doing so are putting the lives of Palestinian civilians as well as the hostages themselves at added risk from the hostilities. All these actions by both parties may amount to war crimes.